Hello everyone, welcome back to the forexboat.com live trading ideas. So for this week we will be looking at the Canadian versus Japanese yen. Before we start, I would like to remind you again that all the information here in this video is purely for educational purpose only and should not be considered as a financial advice. So we're getting back to the Japanese yen pair once again as last week we had Swiss franc Japanese failed. And this means that Japanese yen is actually getting strong. We had already idea on the New Zealand Japanese yen, which is um, we were expected either price to go down straight away or correct up and then go down. So this is actually a scenario, uh, or the second scenario where price has corrected. The entry price expected was 64.95.96, and currently we expect this to produce at least. Um, triple bottom or you can see the towards the major support so this is still valid idea for the New Zealand Japanese yen daily close above this high would invalidate this um, idea so for now it's still active also wanted to get back to our previous idea before we start with the Canadian Japanese yen on the Australian uh, on the pound versus Australian we are reaching the target I guess it will be tested very soon so this idea uh, consider is done because we are right at the price that we were expecting Australian Japanese the same if we look at this price actually here at this bottom the gap is closed uh, so taking profit also good idea especially where we expect uh, Japanese yen to be strong so this could be the top of the Australian Japanese yen. So that's it. This trade is done. Australian Japanese closed. Australian Swiss franc also reached the target. And um, so this could be also a strong Swiss franc at the same time. Uh, and on Australian Swiss franc, we can expect some consolidation, even the trend reversal to the downside. So target is reached again so Australian dollar has finished the trend in my view and now there will be either consolidation or correction on many Australian currency pairs now in regards to the New Zealand Canadian dollar we were I was thinking that it's an out trade but then looked at the daily we had this spike here below and then price still failed so overall New Zealand Canadian is still expecting to go up as per original idea, I think it will be heading towards this target. And uh, this is the reason also we have the Canadian Japanese yen, because we see that New Zealand Canadian is up, meaning that either New Zealand strong or Canadian weak. Then Japanese yen is also strong. strong. And that's why this, this idea could be quite interesting. So let's, let's move on and see what's happening. First of all, I would like um, to bring your attention to this resistance where simple moving average has been rejected. Then price went up, oh sorry, down, broke below the uptrend trend line and rejected the exponential moving average for, for another time. And this could be now the result in a wave down. Now, if we move to the one hour chart, here we can see that price actually also rejecting the moving average. It has rejected the simple moving average right there. Price failed to close above, produced a spike, but never closed above the spike. Excellent point to consider for the shorting. Also, uh, the trend uptrend trend line also broken. And if you see, I have applied a Fibonacci retracement to the corrective wave up after the breakout of the moving averages. We have two targets here, but the most specifically is 261, which is at 75.55. So this is the potential target. Why? Because if you go to forward chart, we see we applied FIBS to this uh, wave up, and it almost corresponds to the 61.8 Fibonacci. So here we, we clearly see this support, and this is where we expect the price to go between 75.58 and 75.55. And finally, if we go to 15 minute chart now, we also had this rejection of the uh, exponential moving average, very clean rejection. The, well, firstly, it was a clean, then spike above exactly how I like to see it. Also, we see the downtrend trend line. In the worst case scenario, price might retrace back to retest this high, but I, I'm looking at this breakout. So as soon as this breakout occurs, this is a confirmation of the downtrend. 
of this uptrend trend line and you see uh, next 15 minutes it might happen then potential uh, entry could be on some correction to the upside ideally approximately about 76.23 towards this resistance area if price will correct uh, also the breakout itself could result in a strong downtrend but for now there is no breakout still i would expect this breakout to occur sometime uh, later on today after it happens we should expect this now move down towards our targets so that's the idea basically for the next couple of days i guess because it's only one time one hour time frame and we also watching the new zealand japanese yen to the downside also new zealand canadian still to the upside as long as this low is holding and uh, all the australian pairs are done so basically that's it uh, canadian japanese yen looking for the downside move I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe for, uh, to our channel to see more great ideas each and every week. Thank you guys and have a profitable trading.